Did Pino really just die in Eden Zero? The new Eden Zero chapter is out and we are rapidly approaching to the end of the story, with only two chapters remaining. And as in the past few chapters, Mashima have cooked another amazing chapter up. From Shiki saving Rebecca from herself and them accepting their feelings to each other, to the shining stars finally reuniting with Ziggy, the chapter was a fully bittersweet chapter. Unfortunately, not everything in the chapter is happy. After everything came to an end, Pino said her goodbye. You all look so happy, makes me happy too. I really am glad I got to meet all of you. Thank you for everything, it appears my role is finished. Goodbye master. And at that moment, Pino collapses, seemingly passing away. <laughs> Why Pino? But this raises so many questions. Why Pino? We got told that her role was to take down the Eden Swan. But she didn't. The Eden Zero and Ziggy took down the Eden Swan and Void. So what was her role actually then? Since she clearly didn't fulfill the role, we got told. So she passing away would feel like a giant waste. At least it might seem that way, but she actually did complete her role. Let me explain it. We never fully seen her memories. The memories we got shared with was the memories of the creation of the Shining Stars, not hers. There was no Pino in those memories. It was just a record of Ziggy meeting Mother and Shiki and the creation of the Shining Stars. Her memories were not amongst the memories we seen. Or at least that is what Mashima made us believe. I believe the truth was always in front of us. It was always oblivious but we missed it from the start. Pino was actually the ship of Eden Zero all this time. The reason the Shining Stars didn't have their memories was because they didn't have them to begin with. They were made up by Ziggy. But Pino's memories actually were removed from her. The same time the records of the Eden Zero ship were also deleted. The memories what Pino got handed were her memories. It was the deleted records of the ship of Eden Zero. Pino is the android form of the Eden Zero ship, like how Void is the android form of the Eden Swan. Pino was created by Ziggy as a countermeasure against Void, to prevent him from accessing the way back to Mother, to destroy the one and to save Mother. Meaning Pino in fact has fulfilled her role, as the ship of Eden Zero was the one who destroyed Void's true body, Will the Eden Zero found and save Mother, saving the universe? There are multiple reasons why I further believe that Pino is actually the Eden Zero itself. First Pino got introduced only few chapters before the ship of Eden Zero did. Pino got introduced in chapter 6, will the Eden Zero's true form in chapter 15. Secondly, Pino's casual outfit has a pink heart on it. Will Rebecca's B-Cube, what gives the ship of Eden Zero its power, also contains a pink heart on it, and said B-Cube is where the ship of Eden Zero gained its name. Mashima has used cloches before to foreshadow in Eden Zero, so I believe he did this again. He was telling us her true identity all this time. Lastly, Void had the ability of Rebecca to travel through time. Only female members of the family can gain this ability. I believe Pino and Void are originally the exact same person. Void was the artificial intelligence of the Eden Zero ship who accompanied Ziggy on his journey to Mother and back. But Ziggy realized what Void was planning, so he created Pino. He basically removed parts of Void's memories and created an entire different entity from it called Pino. The reason why Void had cut Leaper was because he was meant to be a girl, and Pino is a female bot, representing Void's actual self. Pino and Void both are originally one, both parts of the Eden Zero ship, a single entity separated into two by Ziggy. We never got told how Void got separated from the Zero 
nor how was Pino created, simply because their origins are shared. This would further explain why did Void want Pino to join his side in the previous universes, since he wanted to be complete again. The reason Pino has passed away now isn't just because the Eden Zero succeeded in destroying the One and saving the universe, but also because with now Shiki and Rebecca ending up together, her soul will finally be born as the human she was always intended to become. Pino being the android form of the Eden Zero ship and Void's counterpart could explain a lot of things in the story, while at the same time make her character far more fleshed out. It could explain the missing memories of the Eden Zero ship, it could explain her creation and purpose, and why Mashima didn't meet her the center of action despite the promise, as the ship of Eden Zero itself was already part of many action through the story. This could also give the ship of Eden Zero a personality, like what the one had, and far more importance in the story, the series was named after the ship after all. Will Pino basically being a different side of the same coin with Void could further develop Void being Shiki's and Rebecca's kid plotline, involving Pino's dream of wanting to become a human and why Void had Cat Leaper to begin with. In my opinion, all the evidence points towards Pino being the ship of Eden Zero, from the missing memories to the role of destroying the one, to how Void was capable to access her memories in Universe 3, even her character design being similar. To Rebecca's B cube. Everything points towards Pino being the ship of Eden Zero. The Eden Zero completed its role alongside Pino. The void was filled in, and her wish was granted. Goodbye, Pino, and see you in space. <laughs>